Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be sharing with you my latest current empty products. Um, my hair, I was not planning this. I had my, I literally just had my hair up in a clip and I have on a sports bra and an old t-shirt kind of situation. Like it's like one of my favorites, but I think it has a hole in it. Actually it has four holes in it. Um, so I was cleaning my shower. The lighting is probably not the best, but I wanted to share these empty products with you because I've been hoarding them and I have a few minutes and I'm just trying to do things fun and we'll do some more like planned content and some of it will be like this. Diesel's walking around, I'm just sitting in my bathroom. So you'll see his head and yeah. So I'm just gonna go through some of the products that I have recently used up. I'm sorry if I keep touching my hair, but it really is just not looking the best. And everything will be linked below, not the top. I will link this makeup look down below because I've been wearing it all the time and I just recently did an updated video on that as well as my lip products, but onto the products. It's not fun hoarding these like empty products, but I get why this is popular because it's kind of like it's it's good. Anyways, Orbe dry shampoo. I have not repurchased this because I bought it when I actually still had not used up another dry shampoo, so I'm trying to use that up, and I really don't use dry shampoo all that much. However, I do really like this one. If you're somebody that's really oily like me, it's probably not the best, but um I like it because it doesn't get white and powdery and I like the scent of it and it just adds like a little bit of freshness. To be honest, I'm not like a huge dry shampoo person so I don't think I can give it a fair review, but I would definitely repurchase it. I probably will repurchase that as my dry shampoo. I also have the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. They, these look very similar. If you watch my channel for a while, you know I accidentally bought the dry shampoo meaning to buy the dry texturizing spray um but they both worked out and i love the dry texturizing spray i already repurchased that i use it every day pretty much it's really good a lot of these products you'll see that i repurchase because i just use the same thing all the time another thing that's really popular is this rodan and fields i hope i said that right lash boost serum and this lasted me literally like four months. I already repurchased it. I've gotten a lot of questions on my Instagram stories and stuff about my lashes. I'll try to get close so you can see them. Um, these are not lash extensions. They're my real lashes. If you don't think they look nice, I'm sorry, but I get a lot of questions about them and I have honestly seen such a difference in my lashes since I started using that. So I would say at least give it a month, but really, you don't have to repurchase it every month. I've shied away from lash serums for a long time because it's like that's really expensive, and probably unnecessary. It's probably not gonna work, but it really did work. It lasted me four months and it's totally worth the money in my opinion. Next up, I have the Dr. Jart Pore Minimalist Masks. I feel like I used another mask the other day and I didn't save it, I just tossed it. These hands down are my favorite sheet masks ever. I love the Dr. Jart sheet masks. I also have the Relax and Wax Get the Bump Out of Here. I repurchased this already. I do get like a bikini wax. Actually, I get a Brazilian, but you probably don't need to know that. Um, and I use that and it helps me keep my bumps at bay. Let's see what's next. I'm not going in any kind of particular order, by the way. I This mask, I'll leave it so you can see. I purchased this clay mask from the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach in Florida and I loved it so much. I haven't been able to find a source online that I think ships to my location. I, I've looked it up and I haven't, if, if something changed, it'll be linked down below, but if not, I haven't really found a good reliable source. So if you use that, let me know, but I purchased it at their spot. It feels really good. If you have like acne related skin or oily skin, it's such a nice cooling clay mask. It just feels so good. Um, so I love that. I also have the Laura Mercier Secret Eye Brightening Powder. I talk about this so much. I would just apply it under my eyes to basically set my concealer. It brightens your under eye area, although this lighting is probably not helping the way mine looks right now, uh, but I already repurchased it. I really love it. It's a product that I have now repurchase at least twice, so it's a good one. Clinique Take the Day Off. I've also went through several ones of these. I've already repurchased it. It's really good. I would like to find a different makeup remover, not because I'm unhappy with that one. I don't like 
It does not leave a residue. It's just the fact that I'm putting a balm on my face that I don't love. I'm fine with using it around my eye area, but like the rest of my skin, I don't love that, but it really is not a bad product, so I can't complain. Okay, this is kind of sad and embarrassing, uh, but I have two Laura Mercier concealers, and I have once again already repurchased this. <laughs> I am in the shade 1N. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I really love this, obviously. Uh, but I use it on my under eye and on my blemishes. I use it all over. It's really good. Uh, my two favorite mascaras, both of which are different, but these are basically the only ones I ever purchased. The Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill is hands down basically my favorite. I have gone through so many tubes of that in my lifetime. That's what I have on today. And I really love it, but I also really like the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. They're both really good. These have been in here for a long time, so obviously I'm not going to use them, but since they're out, I figured I would just do a quick comparison of the bristles. Um, obviously, the Giorgio Armani is much longer. Let's see if I can hold this. Much longer. And then when you get closer, you can see... This one that I'm waving, this one is the La Volume de Chanel and this is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. So um, you can just kind of see like a little bit of difference, maybe, hopefully. Anyways, just for fun, since we're doing this, I figured I'd share with that with you. I'm trying to make this really quick, but you know, I like to talk. Anyways. The Clinique All About Eyes Rich Eye Cream. Really, really loved this. It takes me a long time to go through an eye cream, which obviously, which is really good, because then it lasts. I just use a tad, and I haven't been using eye cream, which is not good. I didn't even think about that until just now. My skincare routine has kind of been up in the air because my skin has been broken out so bad. Um, you can see my jawline, not my favorite thing. Um, so I have been working on my diet, drinking a lot of water, cutting things out, wearing my hair up, limiting skincare products, but it's just a mess. So I, ha I completely forgot that I wasn't even using an eye cream. What I have been using, however, is the IS Clinical Active Serum. I'm also using their cleanser, which I'll link that down below. I literally have like maybe less than a week left. I need to order another one, but... I have been trying the eyes clinical products and I've really been liking them. I've heard Marianna Hewitt talk about them and also Rosie Huntington Whiteley, mostly because they all use Shani Darden, a, um, I don't know, she's like an esthetician and she sells them slash recommends them. So that's that. And also this is her product that I have been using. I have repurchased this also. This is the, um, retinol resurface retinol reform resurface by shawnee darden and you can get these on amazon obviously everything will be linked down below it's in a white bottle um but i use this at night so basically i've cut my skincare routine back to like cleanser slash make and then makeup remover at night and then the is clinical active serum in the morning and this at night and i have been using moisturizer sparingly <laughs> because my skin like i said is just not in good shape but those products I really love, before I've had this weird hormonal like act breakout, I was really loving the IS Clinical product and the Retinol Reform. I think that I am someone that can really, I think anybody can benefit from Retinol, and I never really noticed or understood that it can help with acne. So I have noticed that my skin, um, when it's not freaking out like it is right now, is responding really well to the retinol and it's helping to clear up like any acne spots and get rid of the scarring immediately because you know you can get those like ugh, spots but what up anyways i hope that you enjoyed this video it was very impromptu hopefully it'll be less than 10 minutes or around 10 minutes because i've talked a lot but i feel like i've been talking really fast and we just breeze through that so that's good um, if you have any questions about any of the products, just leave them in a comment down below and I will get back to you. Or if you have any suggestions, recommendations for doing these, if you want me to do it like I did today, like just briefly mention if I've repurchased or whatever, um, just let me know what you'd like to see. And I'll see you guys very soon. If you have any video requests, leave them down below. I'm doing my best to kind of 
pick it up on that front. Um, my life is balancing out a little bit. I'm just, you know, we're working on it. I think that's what we're all doing. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out my social media down below. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.